Hi everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a chalk drawing to share with you today. We are in the middle of our Silk Road main lesson block for homeschool and we are studying the Mongol rule in Asia and today we're using the book called Kublai Khan, The Emperor of Everything by Kathleen Krull as inspiration for today's chalk drawing. So for today, I've got my Sargent Art Square Chalk Pastels, and I've got this set here that has a really nice assortment, but I also have a larger set, although I am running out of colors. I also have my chalkboard. This is by Waldorf Supplies, Paper, Scissors, Stones, and I really love this chalkboard a lot. It works really well, and it blends the chalks really nicely. I'm going to start off by giving my chalk drawing kind of a rough outline with some white chalk and this kind of gives me an idea of where the chalk drawing is going to go and make sure that I can fit everything that I want to fit into the chalk drawing and then once that's done I can start on my first layer of colored chalk so I've got this really beautiful vibrant green on one side and brown on the other and now I'm going to work on the hills and the mountains in the background and I really love this part of the illustration in the book and this is really what drew me into using this as inspiration for this chalk drawing for this mini unit that accompanies our Silk Road unit. So when I'm doing chalk drawings, I start with the things that are easiest for me to do in the illustration. There are things that are more challenging that I'm going to save until the end. And I generally start with the background first. Working with chalks is really forgiving. You can layer them, you can erase them, you can even uh, outline them and then add more color on top. It, it's just a really forgiving art medium. So I chose this illustration because it has such a beautiful landscape with lots of color and I do really enjoy using a variety of color in our chalk drawings and also because I figured that this might be a suitable chalk drawing that the children could easily add into their main lesson books. I don't want to choose things that are too complicated or too detailed or that would take too much time then it becomes a little more tedious for them to include that into their main lesson book. So my chalk drawings generally I do one for an entire unit. Sometimes I will do more, but for the most part, I've got the one that sort of is the inspiration for the whole unit. And then for daily illustrated work, the children oftentimes will find illustrations in the picture books that we are reading to accompany our lessons. And they will include those, or on occasion, they'll just come up with their own illustrations without using any art inspiration. I'm drawing these yurts here and they are supposed to just be in white but I've added a little bit of brown just to give it some dimension and texture and the one on the far left is supposed to be one being constructed and there are two people who are working on that and they've got white hats and a little blue outfit which sort of resembles the image in the book. So I forgot to do the sky once I did the mountains, so I quickly went back up to the top of the chalkboard in order to add a really pale blue sky. I generally love doing a night sky or uh, even a sunset, but this time just pale blue works really well since there is there are so many other colors in the chalk drawing already. So I started with a camel and then I erased it and I put it a little bit farther back in the drawing. and. I only did the one even though in the illustration there are multiple camels for a caravan and I, I struggled just with the one so I was just going to have the single camel just to give that idea that there are caravans that are coming through this area uh, though for the Mongols the horse was more important than the camel. So I've got that one person who's leading that camel and now I'm going to draw the horse which was super challenging and in the illustration you have the one horse that seems wild and then another person on a horse sort of training it or breaking it but I just did the one because again drawing animals and people is really challenging for me and I prefer to avoid it for these chalk drawings whenever possible. This is a closer look at the chalk drawing once it's complete. I'm really pleased with the way it turned out. It took about a half an hour to do, which is about the average amount of time it takes for a chalkboard this size, which is two feet by three feet. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. If you'd like to see some of our other projects and tutorials for our Silk Road main lesson block, you can tap on the screen right now. Don't forget to check out the blog post that accompanies this video for more information. That link is also in the description box below. If you'd like to see how we're homeschooling on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at Pepper and Pine.